who sits for an exam seven times and fails that exam and then decides again to go and write it the eighth time. What's going on guys welcome back to the channel and my name is Solomon for those of you that are new to the channel please do not forget to like subscribe and share if you have any questions any comments please drop it out in the comment section down below and I'll be glad I'll be great here yeah, to actually uh, answer those comments how are you guys doing today I hope you guys are doing good I hope you guys are doing all right as you can see I'm in my good mood again like I'm in a very very happy mood today anyways um today I'm um, from the title um you should already know what we're going to be talking about um, so it's more of like um, a story time, I guess, or like um, me just telling you guys like what I passed through to get like my real estate license. Yeah, um, because it's been um, a a couple of rough years because I started in um, 2019, the process of actually get, get my license. It was actually um, rough and um, I just feel like I should actually share because this is a, a story that I believe would motivate someone out there and um you just have to like know what you want and then you have to like drive towards it now where should i begin from um let's say from 2019 so obviously i've you know i have a real estate channel um i talk about real estate and just just my love for housing and everything so i was like you know what why don't i actually just get into real estate like why don't i have my own license so i started um writing the exam um on I can't remember the specific date but it was in 2019 now in Canada here the process is kind of different from the states in fact it is definitely different from the states so you have to first of all pass five ex exams before you, you, you can now like apply for a license apply to join a brokerage all those um, um, shenanigans and everything um, and then you have one articulating course which is the sixth course you have two years to write now I started my um, first exam um, in 2019, as I've said before. Now, the first one, um, I, I passed the first e exam. Don't forget that five exams, right? I, I passed the, the first e exam, which was wonderful. I was like glad, you know, and everything. Um, then um, I wrote the second exam. I filled it the first time, which was kind of heartbreaking, but I took it again and then I passed. Now, one thing about um, rewriting an exam, like an OREA e exam, is the first time you are writing the exam, you actually pay like the exam fees for that e exam. Now, if you are going to rewrite the second time, you will then pay $50 to actually rewrite the exam. Now, if, if you now fail that same exam again, you're going to rewrite it, but this time around, you're paying the original fee that you paid. So, you just have the original fee and then a 50, a 50 dollar like rewrite fee so those are the only two fees that are applicable so if you keep on filling the third time you'll pay a new fee the fourth time you pay 50 dollars the sixth time you pay a new fee and on and on and on so after this second um exam um the first attempt that i passed and then sorry that i, I failed then the second attempt that i actually did pass that was wonderful then i came to the third exam now the third exam was like two in one so um you have to read for like two courses and just write them at once like it's like combined um that they say is like the most difficult exam like out of every like out of the whole five or the whole six so uh i was like okay fine i i can take it so the first time i i took i took the exam um it was difficult i'm not gonna lie it was very difficult I, like, I wouldn't even cap there now I, 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 I failed it now that exam was $900 I failed it the first time then um, I had to retake it I paid $50 unfortunately enough for me I failed it again so I had to rewrite it the third time now I paid another $900 after that I had to I failed that one again then I because i was just persistent because this is what i felt like i was destined to this war i felt like i just want to do this so after i failed the third time i was like you know what? I, I, I i i i can't give up i, I like I, I just can't you get me yeah i just can't give up so i wrote the fourth time paid, paid another fifty dollars and guess what guys i failed oh very very painful i was like wow 
Now, all through these times, right, I was um, paying by myself. So after the fourth one, um, I was thinking, I was like, okay, you know what, I'll write it again. Then I got, I got, I got laid off from my work, which I was actually using to pay for my exams. So I couldn't pay for my exams um, and I couldn't write my exams again. All this happened in 2019. Now coming into 2020, it was a different story entirely. I still didn't have a job for like a, um, a, a couple of months. So then I was like, you know what, I'll just start doing um, deliveries. So I started doing deliveries and then um, I had to get um, some things to like help me out. And then I then started getting cash back. Now, I made enough money to you know okay you know what let me give this um, exam a try one more time so i wrote it the sixth time right i failed that exam again i was like like how like where does this happen like how like how is this happening like why is this happening to me i was like i felt i felt i felt i felt, I felt, I felt like a failure at that point in time like i literally almost broke down but i just i was like you know what i was just like continue my lifestyle like just keep on working trying to get cash and everything but at that point in time i felt like it was draining me i was like yo this is something i want to do and then i had to i had to rewrite it again the seventh time and that's seventh time i paid fifty dollars guess what guys this time around i feel it again that that alone is like in, in enough to like suck your like suck someone's blow like like drain you and just make you feel like you failed in this life um so i just had that that like thinking i was like yo am i actually a failure like like why is this happening to me like why is it me this is happening to if like if it felt so so much that i was like man i can't take this anymore so i, I gave it like Two months, I didn't write the exam again because I was frustrated and very tired and very annoyed at myself. I was just like, no, this is not happening. Then I was like, you know what, God, this is go going to be the last time I'm going to write this exam because I, I want to like take it again. I was like, Lord, if if this exam, if 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 this is my path in life, like if it's destined for me to be like a real estate agent, I just want to just pass this course and then continue my life, like. I had already given up hopes at that point in time because all I was just thinking of was, okay, what if I fail again? What then happens to my life? Fine, I had like all that plans down the line, but I, I, I just wanted to like, I just wanted to be a real estate agent. I just wanted to like be in that surrounding, like surround myself with agents, surround myself with housing, surround myself with real estate in general. That like that was all I just wanted. Like that was all. Um, so I was like, you know what? If I fail this time around, then I know, you know what, this is just not for me. Then I go to my other plans, you know, doing videos or getting another type of, of licensing, probably insurance license. That was what was like just going through my whole mind. But um, I wrote the exam the eighth time, I had to pay another $900. And guys, I passed. Like, the joy, the joy that was in me at that point in time was 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 unexplainable like yo who sits for an exam seven times and fails that exam and then decides again to go and write it the eighth time fam i didn't i didn't i didn't i didn't know what to do at that point in time. i was i was just amazed i was just joyful i was just joyous i feel like that should actually go down like in 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 record for um the person that has failed that cost the most i like I, I feel like i feel that cost the most then the fourth and the fifth exam they were, they were just smooth sail they were, like they were just easy peasy so come to january 2021 your boy had to go and apply for um um his his license i had to become a brokerage to work with so now i work with Kelly Williams, um, but I'm in a team in Kelly Williams, which is a affinity real estate team. Now I have my license. Something I've always been dreaming of, like I've always been dreaming to of of how I'm going to make this video for you guys. Now the main reason for this video, first of all, is to like 
um give myself a shameless plug um if you know anyone who wants to buy or sell his or property in kitchener waterloo or any surrounding area around here um you can actually refer them to me and i'll be glad to actually help them like really really glad to help them because bro i need clients definitely but anyways that aside now um the main reason why i'm actually doing this video it's 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 not to like um put myself out there even though i still want to be even though i want to put myself out there but like it's more of me trying to like um share my experience with you guys and i really want to like bring you guys through like throughout my journey of being like a real estate agent um also another reason why i'm doing this is because i i feel i, I believe this will try to m motivate someone out there like if you know you want to do something right you know this is where i'm going to this is what i want to do in life just go for it like there'll be so many downturns so, so many obstacles so many f failures that, that that you go through but once you get to that promised land once you get to the place you want to get to that joy is unending that joy is wonderful so the point is if you're determined to get to somewhere do not let anyone bring you down because i had people that were telling me that you know what just quit this like just stop it you know stop just stop writing the exam go and find something else to do i had people telling me that but i still i still didn't give up on that like so what i just want to say is be persistent to what you know you like like when i say you like something i never believed um uh, when they say if you really like doing what you what you're doing you would be like you'll just be happy me going into the office on m monday to meet up with the team that i wanted to work with i was like i've never been so excited that the next day was a, a monday i was i was like yo tomorrow is going to be monday oh my god i'm actually pumped like i'm really really feeling good right now like i've never been so excited that the next day was going to be a, a, a monday which is weird i'm like yo this is different this is a different feeling entirely for me so push push through to what you want to do do not let anyone push you down be persistent if you feel this is where you want to be this is where you want to go to just go for it just go for it you're the only obstacle to your success now i really don't know where i'm going to go from here from um from my real estate journey i, I really don't know how it's going to be but i believe that the god that got me here would see me through every single thing um down the line um i really i really just i really just want to like thank you guys for actually staying staying tuned for you guys um i i really appreciate you guys for actually watching all my videos i really appreciate my friends i really appreciate my family and i really really thank god for giving me this opportunity guys i'll try my possible best to bring you guys on on my on my whole real estate journey i would see what i can actually do don't forget once you're determined push towards it do not let anyone you get me do not let anyone bring you down do not let anyone tell you not to continue with what you want to do if it's something you want to do go for it anyways guys um i'll be um, ending the video here for today look out for more content more content coming to your screens please don't forget to like please don't forget to sub subscribe also um and um please follow this page i really really appreciate you guys we're about to hit um 200 subscribers but anyways guys Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if you have any questions. Any comments, please drop it down in the comment section down below. And um, I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. And as always, guys, stay safe.